Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. Today, we're diving back into the world of Frick You, Karen, and I'm so excited for this, mainly because we've only ever made one video on this subreddit, so there's always so much to get through on here. But also, reading about funny Karen memes makes me very happy. There's something very satisfying about these. But yeah, doing amazing. Hope you're doing amazing, and I hope you're ready for this. Does your boss know that you joke about design industry on Twitter? Uh, yeah, he does. If you'd like to contact him, however, please feel free. Here's his number. Hi, my name is so-and-so from the recruitment agency. I was wondering if you knew about your employer Tommy and his Twitter material. I'm my own boss, you wet wipe. Tommy. <laughs> That's so funny. And yeah, like the top comment says, imagine trying to tattle on another adult like an overgrown child? Well, I guess Karens basically are overgrown entitled children. <laughs> 100% a Karen move. Oh my god, I haven't seen you in forever. Oh my god, let's stand in everyone's a freaking way and talk about our kids. <laughs> oh, that's so accurate. Like, yeah, let's just be super annoying to everybody else and not even realize it. Or actually realize it and still not do anything about it. About it. <laughs> Sounds amazing. This company's response to workers calling in sick. Call in sick policy. Don't do it. Calling in sick is probably the most destructive thing you can do here besides stealing or setting the place on fire. I worked 16 years here and I called in sick exactly one time. Also, your sick pay that is listed on your paycheck is treated just like vacation time. We were mandated by the state to give you that, so we took away the vacation time in lieu of sick time. But anytime you need to reschedule a regular day off, you can request so and we'll pay you in sick time. If you have any available and that is perfectly okay, but calling in sick is perfectly not okay. When you call in sick, you do major, 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 major damage to the operation. Just so you know in no uncertain terms. If you run a business where somebody calling in sick does a major 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 damage to the operation that's something that you haven't fixed that's not something that you can just put on the employees you need to make it so if somebody does take a sick day that it doesn't do major damage to the operation like blaming people for getting sick doesn't seem like the answer on Halloween someone reported this house in Baltimore to the health department for illegally running a restaurant out of a residence? Wow. So for Halloween, they put Bob's Burgers above their place and the grand re-re-re-re-opening. You know, that's adorable. Complaint states that a restaurant is being run out of this personal residence. Observations. Residents had a human burger Halloween decoration with a Bob's Burgers sign hung as a part of the decoration. No food was being served at this location? Complaint not confirmed. Why would you complain about this before you actually figured out what Bob's Burgers was? Like, wouldn't your first thought be, oh, maybe I don't know what Bob's Burgers is, so I should probably look it up? No, the first thing that you thought you should do was, oh, I should ruin everybody's fun and complain about it. <laughs> Some people are no fun. Happy National Coming Out Day. No matter if you're out or not, who you are is valid and you're always welcome here? Do the Avs also welcome conservative Christians who maintain that homosexuality is contrary to both nature and God's law? This isn't about you. This is for our friends who historically don't feel safe or welcomed in a hockey environment and many who still don't. We weren't excluding anyone so why are you? Yeah, well said. God, this makes me very angry so I'm I'm gonna say something about it. <laughs> Warning, Karens will be filmed for YouTube purposes. <laughs> and then, in a Vinci video as well. Um, I need to speak to the banana jar. <laughs> banana jar? That's an amazing thing to say, banana jar. I'm losing my mind and you're all watching. The only one star review of a local bookstore. Okay, so let's read the other two ones first. Five stars, the owner was super friendly 
and helpful and I probably spent an hour in there. Another one, five stars. One of my very favorite places to shop for myself or gifts for other people. One star, I cannot rate the experience as I could not locate the bookstore. So you felt the need to rate it one star? I really don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I like to be frustrating. <laughs> I like to cause havoc in the universe. A Karen Scarecrow in my neighborhood? That's amazing. It looks like it genuinely pissed off. <laughs> and I don't know how you even did that. But yeah, that's a very convincing. I thought you guys would enjoy my last year's Halloween costume. The only time I succeeded in scaring my co-workers. Wow, that's amazing. Like, I don't know how you could have done a better job. And is that like a dog in your hand? One thing I've noticed about Karens is they... <laughs> like, I don't want to say this because it seems really rude, but they sometimes get the same hairstyles as their dog. <laughs> a random girl on my Snapchat. I have too many friends and not a single one of y'all can send me one dollar for my birthday. What B arches? Literally, I can't add anyone else. Send me a dollar or get deleted with your Snap name or I'll be cleaning my Snap out and only keeping the ones I want to keep. Oh no, what a threat. <laughs> Bro, if one of my Snapchat friends did something like this, I would unfriend them before they can unfriend me. <laughs> like, oh no, you're gonna unfriend me and not beg me for money. Oh, <laughs> what a shame. I own a small business running kids parties. The kids loved it, but the Karen was mad that I didn't smile more. Hello, thank you for making my son's party such a blast. I know it's literally just text, but it already seems passive aggressive. I have to say, I wasn't overly impressed with the organizer. He didn't engage overly with the children. Apart from telling them the rules, putting a few barriers up and providing the Nerf guns, he stood around a lot doing nothing. I could have done 10 times better and actually engaged with the children. For 130 pounds, I was expecting him to have interacted a bit more and look like he was enjoying himself. On a plus, the children had a fabulous time. <laughs> wow, saying that makes it so much more karen -y. Unfortunately, most mums and dads thought the chap was a huge disappointment. He looked like it was an absolute chore for him and he couldn't pack up quick enough. I'm sorry to have to say this, not like me to complain. If this was my business, I'd like to know. A disappointed mummy and daddy. But the children had a fabulous time. But I like to complain. <laughs> like, yeah, you have the right to complain about stuff like this, of course. But, you know, they're doing it for the kids' birthday party. So the whole point of it is the kids having a good time. And you even said that the children had a fabulous time. So that's kind of their only job. Can I sue my beekeeper neighbor? Every day I see my neighbor's bees flying around my garden, stealing the pollen or nectar from my flowers. <laughs> then the bees go back to my neighbor and they create honey. My neighbor then harvests the honey and sells it at Pepper Place Market for profit. I've never received so much as a jar of honey as compensation. And every day my neighbor's bees trespass and they steal my flowers. I was stung once when I was a child, so I know how dangerous bees can be. The way I see it, this is equivalent to a person's dog coming into my yard to steal balls or tools and then give it to the owner, who then sells it for profit. Completely different, but okay. Do I have a legal ground to sue? What type of thing should I begin documenting in order to prepare for a legal battle? What should be a fair settlement amount if my neighbor doesn't want to take this to court? Thank you for the help. A fair settlement amount. Um, two jars of honey, probably. Like, I don't want to be rude, but it sounds like you have a way too much spare time. <laughs> like, the fact that this is even a worry of yours is a worry. The top comment, file a restraining order against the bees. That'll teach them lol. Yes, yeah, sue the bees 100%. I'm sure they'll never steal your pollen again. A woman was denied citizenship in Switzerland for being too annoying. <laughs> what? The top comment says, 
legitimate reason. <laughs> like, I'm pretty certain this isn't true, but it sounds pretty funny, so... <laughs> Can you ask for no cheese on my cheeseburger? Yeah, and apparently the hamburger is a dollar cheaper if you just want that. I do not want a hamburger, I want a cheeseburger with no cheese. <laughs> if I wanted a hamburger, I'd order a hamburger. Okay, there goes your tip. <laughs> oh my god, people are so annoying. I love this subreddit, but it's so aggravating. When you see a little girl running a lemonade stand and you're scared that she will depreciate your neighborhood's property value by $5, <laughs> I'm reporting this to the police. Live, love, laugh, and also be very, very annoying at the same time. The Karen Halloween costume included violation notepad, binoculars, insufferable personality, not included, empathy, and fun. <laughs> That's so amazing. Not included. Empathy. <laughs> Karen's with attitude. Track list. One, entitled, which is the intro. Number two, screw red lobster, featuring Susan. Let me speak to your manager. The classic. This is unacceptable, featuring Sharon. And I'm calling the police, which is the outro. <laughs> I can't wait for their new album. Trevor from GTA V knows how to deal with Karens. Eat, crap and die. Yeah, Trevor looks like he's had his fair share of Karens in his life. Oh, well, screw me, I guess. I woke up like this. I'm a 36-year-old male going to get a haircut. Yeah, sometimes I get out of the shower and like when the front bit goes down and it goes up at the back and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, look. A Karen. I'm sad, but they were the top posts of the month. That was so fun, and I hope you had a wonderful time today, guys. After our Karen memes, let's read something wholesome. Oh, this is not what I wanted, but maybe it was what I needed. Always having a good perspective on things. So beautiful. When people remember things about me that I don't even remember telling them. Aw, oh, <laughs> you care about me, and it makes me want to cry happy tears. I'm always here for you, okay? Dude, here comes your crush. Act normal. Me, trying my best, <laughs> but failing miserably. Friend, I hate myself. Me, those are bold words for someone in hugging range. <laughs> Listen here, you might be getting a cuddle pretty soon. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time today. If you enjoyed and you want to see more of this subreddit, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know down below what your thought and the comment of the day goes to i'm just blue i'm sick but this video really helped me and made me feel better thank you oh i'm so glad i would have thought that my videos would make people even more sick <laughs> but it's nice to know that they do the opposite but yeah i'm glad you're feeling better and i'm glad the videos help a little bit thank you for watching them i really appreciate it all right guys make sure you have a beautiful rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow with another fun video. Okay, I'm gonna do that thing now. Bye! <laughs>